Right. Uh, let's begin with the class. So, welcome to first of all. Let uh, let me welcome you to Let's Crack Neat PG. Right. That's the YouTube channel of An Academy, the Neat PG division. So, I would like to welcome you to that. This video, it's not a live video. It's going to be a premiered video. So, this video has two parts to it. The first part of the video is the subscription pitch and after that you will move on to whatever the content of that video is whatever i'm going to be doing, right so if you want to skip ahead you can skip through the subscription pitch right scroll through the taskbar and you can reach to the end of the subscription pitch where i will i will be telling you everything about the unacademy subscription the unacademy plus and the unacademy iconic subscription and you can skip ahead of that and you can move ahead to the content so again let me welcome you to let's crack neat pg the YouTube channel. So the for the YouTube channel here you have the top educators, right? So we are the top educators here who are going to be teaching you on an academy and we'll be giving you quality content. And I assure you that this video will be a great learning experience for you all. You might have watched uh, our live videos. Now during this time we are uploading these premiered videos, right? And they are recorded sessions for you which are in a very concise and structured manner so that whatever we give to you uh you can retain it efficiently right so learning should never stop so first of all if you're wondering who am i and if you've not watched any of my live sessions or recorded sessions so my name is chatanya mittal i'm a third semester mbbs student at all india institute of medical sciences that is aims new delhi right which might be a dream destination for you and my all india rank was four in the aims ug entrance examination and my all india rank was five in the jipmer entrance examination as you all know all of these examinations have been merged under a single name the neat examination the results for which were declared recently so now it's all as the neat examination for the neat pg you know this is the neat ug examination and you all know that for neat pg right now the exam is the neat pg examination and you have separate exams for aims pgi and jipmer but uh, this year central institutes they're combining aims pgi jipmer and enhance under a single exam called as the INI CET, right and it is proposed that these both of these exams will be replaced by the next exam the next exam pattern has uh, a lot of clinical weightage and only around 10 percent of the weightage goes to pre pre and para clinical subjects so uh, that is about this and uh, right so before i move on to the content i want to tell you about an academy it is my job to tell you about the unacademy learning app the unacademy platform as such and the unacademy subscriptions which are the most useful things for you, right so first of all do one thing no matter what don't think about any purchases don't think about any subscriptions just go ahead and download this free unacademy learning app go ahead and install it and i'll tell you how this will be useful to you right you uh, this already has over 10 million plus downloads so don't worry about anything just go ahead and install the app and as you can see it is uh, the number three top free app right now right so a lot of people are already using an academy to learn top educators including me are teaching you here right you can see that there are a decent number of watch minutes there are a decent number of followers that are already connected with all of these people you can see here around at least 12,000 people are connected right now with a few educators right and it's a constantly uh, growing thing all right so we educators we are creating structured courses for you on an academy plus right so all of these courses they are plus courses and as you can see these are locked which means that you will be able to access them if you have a plus subscription right so you will ask me if your app you download karwa diya hai na? so all of these are plus courses so educators so for example if you want to have a complete course on genetic and metabolic errors in pediatrics right uh, so you can see that there is a course here which has six lessons uh, pediatrics course here that you can be learning from right similarly if you want a foundation course right which are batch courses you can see courses such as these these are batch courses where multiple educators are teaching together for a particular subject right now the reason i told you to download the app was these special classes so as you can see here that educators keep taking free special classes for neat pg on an academy right these classes are completely completely free of cost and you can all you need is either you can watch them on your laptop 
or if you want to watch them on your mobile phone you can just download the app okay that is why i told you to download the app so for example if you want to know what were the questions that were asked for surgery in may aims 2020 this is a video for you right if you want to know about the embryology of the heart this is this video for you i had made a video on basal ganglia right you can access my anacademy profile i had made a video for arteries of upper limb you can access this video also directly from there from the app right and once you do that so you will need my profile for that so my profile is anacademy.com at the rate pratanya mittal that's my name d5 dash 4586 i know it's a little complicated if you just search my name you will still get this uh there right there not many chatanyas teaching on anacademy so besides that the benefit of downloading the anacademy learning app is that you have the option there to attempt these free mock tests you have the option to attempt free of cost these mock tests are absolutely free of cost and you can see that if you have a plus subscription these long mock tests you will never fall short of any kind of questions so you can attempt all these weekly mock tests as well on the uh anacademy learning app and there's a comprehensive syllabus coverage this part a is pre clinical part b is para clinical and part c is clinical subjects besides that you can see for clinical you have a higher number of courses because next examination there is a higher weightage for the clinical pattern so accordingly these courses have been made in a very structured way besides that you also have batch courses right uh, you have four courses now there might be multiple this is an old screenshot right and you have uh, some courses which are there for your syllabus coverage for your strategy for your practice right all of that is covered and this youtube class is another free class for you so for you to learn right so now why an academy or why online learning is the best way to learn for neat pg the reason for that is we are mbbs students we are very busy people as far as our schedules are concerned so we need a flexible schedule for anything we need to have flexibility in our schedules we need to learn at our own time at our own place and at our own pace all right so you can see here that on an academy you will have a class running at almost every time right because there are multiple educators you can watch at your own convenience according to your own schedule you can watch a lecture recorded you can watch it unlimited times right then you can be watching in the language of your choice mai abhi english mein baat kar raha tha ab mai hindi mein bhi baat kar sakta hu theek hai uh, when we are in a live class if somebody asks me to repeat something in hindi i do that right and malayalam mein bhi tamil mein bhi you can basically be learning in any language and um, that gets more relevant when you are doing a when you are learning something that is from uh, the non medical portion from the upsc side right and unlimited practice kar sakte ho yaar you can attempt the quizzes again and again you can rewatch the recorded sessions you can also download the pdfs for everything right you will also get all these pdfs on my on my telegram channel that is at the rate neat pg chatanya that's my telegram channel you can also join the discussion group where you can ask any of your doubts or you can talk about a subscription all you have to do is go ahead and download the anacademy learning app and uh, that will feel like you're right in the classroom you can see that there's a very good chat feature here in the anacademy app which is uh, which i also use in live classes on youtube where you can directly chat with the educator and when we do mcq classes i have interactive polls to ask you what is the answer i would have included questions here had there been a possibility of a live class for this particular lecture but this lecture is in a recorded way you can put all your doubts on the telegram channel for this and you have the convenience of learning wherever you want whenever you want right so you can be sitting in a metro basically and you can still be learning so now there are two subscriptions that i want to talk to you about very important just listen to this part at least there's a plus course and there is an iconic course an academy plus basically includes everything that is there on the an academy platform right you will get all the live classes access to all live classes and all batch courses along with the tests and quizzes besides that there is a structured schedule which will be specially made for you right and according to that all the courses are running for which you will have complete syllabus coverage you can simply select plus if you want to take the plus subscription but i will tell you to go a little one step ahead and take the an academy iconic subscription where you are not getting just an academy you are also getting prep ladder an academy is india's largest online learning platform no doubt for medical education what was going so far was prep ladder was the leading app which was acquired by an academy so now an academy is giving you both an academy and prep ladder together 
and what you get here is you get everything that is there on unacademy and believe me in one year unacademy will have lots of great content right and right now prep ladder already has teachers like grg sir uh, for pharmacology for uh, ortho you have a poor mera sir and these are very famous faculty if you ask anyone for ortho they'll say hey, go ahead take prep ladder for pharma if you ask anyone they'll say go ahead take prep ladder similarly for medicine for everything prep ladder is a very decent thing for your concepts and subjects is to the point it is concise right unlike some of the other applications and with prep ladder you get all the video lectures right you get all the question banks the latest question banks naya question bank aaya along with the rapid revision course and you also get the notes otherwise these notes are separately for rupees 6500 if you otherwise try to purchase these notes they will cost you another 6500 but here you get these notes included okay so you just go ahead select the iconic subscription according to me and this is the pricing for iconic right so this is the one year plan for 55000 this is the two year plan for 77000 for three year plan it is for 92000 right the moment you apply my referral code that is chaitanya 10 so i'll just tell you there is only one referral code that you have to use on any course on an academy if you are taking a neat pg subscription if your brother is taking a upsc subscription or if your sister is taking an iit subscription or a neat ug subscription okay या रेलवे के लिए प्रिपेयर कर रहा है कोई कैट के लिए प्रिपेयर कर रहा है उनको बताना एक ही रेफरल कोड यूज करना है चैतन्या टेन सो इस रेफरल कोड से व्हाट हैपेंस यू गेट अ स्ट्रेट टेन परसेंट ऑफ यू गेट अ स्ट्रेट टेन परसेंट ऑफ सो यू कैन सी दैट इट इज ऑलरेडी रिफ्लेक्टिंग द डिस्काउंटेड प्राइस टू यू राइट सो दिस नाइनटी टू थाउजेंड दिस बिकेम एटी टू थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड ऑल राइट ना बिसाइड इफ यू कैन यूज क्रेडिट सो जस्ट प्रोसीड टू पे हियर एंड वेन यू डू दैट आई विल शो यू हियर uh there is an option to apply credits there is an option to apply credits and if you contact me i'll tell you exactly how to do that and if you maximize your advantage you can get a 10% off using credits as well just click apply and if you use my referral code the best advantage of using my referral code is you will also get a cashback from my end, right and this cashback from my end you can claim by uh, texting me on instagram at the rate chatanya.blue that is my instagram id and you can also uh, get to me on my discussion channel on telegram that is at the rate meet pg chatanya right just contact me beforehand before taking a subscription make sure you are a new user make sure you are a new user you have a new account right and all you have to do is enter the referral code apply the credits you will also get the additional cashback so basically what happens is this course that costs you for 82800 if you apply credits right this get there is a further discount of 8000 and if with my cashback this course will come down to 75000 or 70000 for you all right and that is really really cheap as you can already make out as you can already make out i'll just show you the calculations 75000 for 3 years and you also get two apps right so that is basically 12.5000 per year per app now what can be cheaper than this if you compare it to offline neat ug coachings which you might have taken previously ठीक है, that would have costed you somewhere around 1.5 lakhs per year, है ना? या फिर 1.25 lakh per year if you had some scholarship. This is almost 10 times less. This is 10 times less, and you are getting the best of both worlds. All right? So I would say go ahead, take the iconic subscription. If you want to, if you are satisfied with Unacademy, you don't want to go ahead with Prep Ladder. Just take the Unacademy Plus subscription. Does not matter. And then here you will get uh, the different pricing. For three years, this will cost you fifty thousand, right? So that was an extra around forty thousand for Prep Ladder. So An Academy Plus is a little more expensive than Prep Ladder, otherwise, because uh, there's a difference in the content, there's a difference in the number of educators that is there, right? So there's that, and then here the referral code is Chatanya ten. Same referral code works everywhere, and you'll get a ten percent off the credits and the cashback. Everything still stands, right? You know how to reach me. On Telegram, just you'll go and you'll join the channel, you'll subscribe the channel, and there's an option to join the discussion group. Just come there and you can find me and text me. All right. Otherwise, Instagram works as well. So apply kar diya, apply kar diya. Referral code apply ho jayega, discount mil jayega, credits lag jayenge. Yeah. So this was a comparison of the pricing. I just wanted to show you that this for three years after discount is forty five thousand. After discount, this is around eighty thousand eight hundred, which will come down to seventy thousand if you are able to use your credits well. Yeah, and I will give you some part of it through a cashback via Paytm or Google. Right. So let's begin today's lecture with another topic that is uh, what are the nine regions of the abdomen. Right. So it's a topic from the abdomen. 
and uh, we'll also be focusing on the four quadrants so we're going to consider both approaches we'll consider the four quadrants of the abdomen and we will consider the nine regions of the abdomen right my name is chatanna mittal i am a third semester mbba student at all india institute of medical sciences that is aims new delhi right first talking let's so there are two things uh, when you talk about the surface division of the abdomen right so this is the first thing that you will learn about the abdomen that when you look at the abdomen let's say this large block is the abdomen there are a lot of structures inside but when you're looking at the surface especially as a surgeon you have to be aware of what are the surface landmarks how do you divide the abdomen so there are two ways to divide it one of the ways is to divide it into four quadrants one of the ways is to divide it into four quadrants right the second way is to divide it into nine regions right the second way is to divide it into nine regions i'll take a different color so the second way to divide it is into nine right so there are two ways uh, that you will be doing this the one that i've shown you in red is the four quadrants approach and uh, the one i've shown in blue is the nine regions approach right so we'll be going through both the first thing that you should know about both of these approaches is what are the horizontal planes right what are these horizontal lines what are these respective horizontal lines and what are these respective vertical planes in which we are dividing the particular regions right and uh, once you understand what are those lines what are those sub planes in your body once we are done with that we can move to what are the structures present inside it and then we can talk about its clinical aspects so first we will be talking about the planes second we will be talking about the structures located inside them and third we will be talking a little bit about their clinical anatomy so that should be the flow of today's lecture it will be very smooth right so let's begin with the four abdominal quadrants first let's quickly talk a little bit about the four abdominal quadrants right so there are four means that this is going to be the division so there is one horizontal plane and one vertical plane the horizontal plane the dividing horizontal plane is basically a horizontal line which is drawn through the umbilicus right so if this is your umbilicus in your abdomen let's say this is your belly so i've drawn it in an exaggerated way so a line that is passing horizontally through it that will be the horizontal plane for this four quadrant division and the vertical line is down the midline of the body which overlies the linea alba so i hope you know what is the linea alba jo abs dikhte hain uske center mein jo ek center mein line hoti hai that is the linea alba which is from the ziphoid process to the pubic symphysis right so this is the ziphoid and here so like this is the rib cage kind of you will and here is the pubic symphysis right that is the vertical line so that is how you are dividing into the four quadrants and on the surface what you can see is so if this is the left side of your body right this is the left side this is the right side so this is the right upper quadrant r u q this is the right lower quadrant this is the left lower quadrant and this is the left upper quadrant so very simple division into these four quadrants four abdominal quadrants i hope you can make out this image here right so that is about the four abdominal quadrants i'll just repeat it here right upper quadrant right lower quadrant left lower quadrant and left upper apart from that if i talk about the nine regions approach right so for the nine regions approach you have dividing lines and these planes are basically planes which are palpable landmarks right these have to be palpable landmarks so we'll be talking about two planes here although there are many more planes also you have transpyloric plane you have uh, supracostal planes and everything but we'll be talking about two planes right now one we'll talk about the subcostal plane second we'll talk about the trans tubercular plane the third plane you already know about that is the mid clavicular plane so sub costal as you can already make out sub means below costal means referring to the rib cage right so it corresponds to a line joining the lowermost bony point of the rib cage usually the 10th costal cartilage all right so if this is the rib cage curving downward so the line drawn from the lowermost bony part and it passes through the body of l3 it passes through the body of the l3 or where which is also the point for the origin of the inferior mesenteric artery right and the third part of the duodenum it also lies in this plane right so subcostal plane there are three associated things that you can know 
first that it is at the level of L3, third it is the origin of the inferior mesenteric artery and the third point is that it is where the third part of the duodenum lies. I hope you know that there are four parts of the duodenum. So we'll go into the details of that later. Next let's talk about the transtubercular plane. Now I hope you understand by tubercle they are referring to some particular tubercles and the tubercles being referred to here are the tubercles of the iliac crest, the right and the left. So those are the two tubercles and the plane correcting them trans means across. So trans tubercular plane passes through the upper body of the L5 vertebra and it is also the confluence of the common iliac veins, right? So they also lie at this level. Origin of the inferior vena cava, right? So if I take this uh, white screen, so one I have told you the subcostal plane, second I have told you the transtubercular plane. Now first thing that you should know what happens, so this is related to the lower most part of the ribcage. This is related to tubercles of the iliac crest. This is related to tubercles of iliac crest. About this remember body of L3. The level is the body of L3 and this is the upper border of L5. This is the upper border of. So this is the level at which inferior mesenteric artery arises. Right. And also here what lies the third part of duodenum. Besides that, here for the transtubercular plane, what do you know? That it is the where the confluence of common iliac veins where IVC originates. The inferior cava originates at the level where the both common iliac veins will unite. So that is all you need to know about these two particular right? After that, mid-clavicular plane, you have from the mid-clavicular point to the mid-inguinal point. Passing through the ninth tip of the ninth costal cartilage, that is the uh, it uh, then corresponds to the lateral border of the rectus abdominis also. So that is the mid clavicular plane. So essentially, when you have those abs in the abs in the center, you have the linea alba, and this is your six pack. So this outer border that is kind of the mid clavicular line, right? So if I move here, if I move here, these are so what will this plane be? This will be the mid clavicular plane of the right side right and this is the left mid clavicular so these are the two vertical planes that we will be talking about and the two horizontal planes first horizontal plane here it is the subcostal plane at the level of the body of the l3 vertebra and this is the the next plane is the trans tubercular plane at the level of the upper border of the l5 vertebra so i'll simply write l5 so now you have nine regions. So obviously you created nine lines. Uh, so you created these four lines. With the help of these four lines, you created this tic-tac-toe square, right? So what does this resemble for you? A tic-tac-toe square, right? So first of all, very simple. On the right side, all of these will have right written in front of them, and all of these will have left written in front of them. They will more or less have the similar names, right? So what is present here? Cartilage, right? Coastal cartilages. What is present here is the coastal cartilages. On the sides you have the ribcage and that is the coastal cartilages, right? So this will be the hypochondrium which lies below the coastal cartilages. This is the right hypochondrium. This is the left hypochondrium, right? Below the hypochondrium you will have the lumbar regions, right? So this is the L3 vertebra. This is the L5. So L3, L4, L5. So this is the lumbar region, right? So this is called as the lumbar region. Then even below it, you will have the iliac fossa. You will have the iliac fossa. So then you will have the iliac region where you will have the iliopsoas and everything passing. So this is the right iliac region and this is the left iliac region. So these are the sides. These are the lateral regions. In the center, there are three regions. In the center, you have the umbilicus. So the central region is called as the umbilical region. The central region is called as the umbilical region, right? The region above it is epigastric region, right? Above the umbilical is epigastric region, and below it you call it the hypogastric region. So hypogastrium and epigastric region, right? So that is how you have kind of categorized this umbilical region. Uh, is the kind of you can say that it is 
epigastric is above the stomach very close to the ossified process and hypogastrium is just above your uh, lower border of your abdomen right and below that the pelvis will start so if i look at these regions if i look at these regions what exactly is located in which part right so if you just have just imagine what will be present here think of the liver first of all think of the liver first of all mainly present in the right hypochondriac region somewhat in the uh, right lumbar in the epigastric region that is somewhat how the liver is present right so mainly in the right hypochondriac region somewhat in the epigastric and the right lumbar region so what will be present along with the liver on the right hypochondriac region so the main structures in the right hypochondriac region are the liver and the gallbladder right then towards the left of the liver as you know you have will have the stomach and towards the left of the stomach you will have the spleen okay liver stomach spleen liver stomach spleen so in the epigastric region you will have a main structure that is the stomach and you will have the spleen in the left hypochondriac region these are the main structures of these particular regions now if i talk a little bit about the lumbar regions if i talk a little bit about the lumbar regions so in the right lumbar region you have the gallbladder you have the liver you have the right colon on the left lumbar region you also have the left kidney all right so the left kidney is a little the left kidney is present in the left lumbar region along with the descending colon so here also <coughs> you can see that you have the kidney in the umbilical region it is the central part surface landmark is the umbilicus right and below it you obviously will have the small intestine you will have parts of the duodenum if i come down if i come down on the iliac region on the right side what do you have you have the appendix and the cecum and on the left side you have the sigmoid colon and the descending colon the junction of the descending colon and the sigmoid colon will also be there so appendix and cecum on the right iliac fossa the left iliac side you will have the descending colon and the sigmoid colon then what is left is the central part in the lowermost region now there you will have the urinary bladder right you will have female reproductive organs right they are also present here and besides that the sigmoid colon it also extends towards this side so essentially if you imagine the large intestine if you imagine the large intestine you can place a lot of things so this is the right colon right and then here it becomes a transverse colon goes a little above and then it comes down as a descending colon becomes the sigmoid colon then here it becomes the appendix of the cecum <coughs> so here it exits and if you talk about the small intestine it is present mainly in the umbilical region and here it becomes the appendix and the cecum and then it moves to the large intestine you can imagine the liver you can imagine the stomach from above here present mainly in the epigastric region you can imagine the spleen here all right you can place the kidneys you can place the intestines intestines more or less present everywhere right so once you have done this entire localization you will have a good idea where what structure is located and that is the part that is important especially when it comes to surface landmarks when it comes to palpation in your clinical examinations which you will be doing in your physiology and then in your medicine as well right in your medicine postings and it is in general also important so those are related to the regions then the next part comes regarding your referred pain next part comes regarding your referred pain right so if you talk here this is the subcostal plane this is the intertubercular or the transtubercular this is the midclavicular lines so this is the right hypochondrium left hypochondrium right flank or the right lumbar the left flank or the left lumbar right groin or the right iliac and the left groin or the left iliac so what is left in the center this was the epigastric region then you have the umbilical region then you have the pubic or the hypogastrium right also call it the pubic region you can also call this hypogastric region as the pubic region right no issues with that so now the it's very simple to remember that referred pain of the foregut is referred in the epigastric region referred pain of the mid gut is referred in the umbilical region in the center and in the central region you will have the hind gut in the pubic region right so very simple pehle aayega fore gut ka pain center mein fir mid gut fir hind gut very simple to remember the referred pains very very simple to remember where what pain will be referred you should know till where you have the fore gut till where you have the mid gut and till where you have the hind gut that division i expect you to already know and once you are done with that you will understand why what pain is referred to what area like for example the pain of appendicitis why it is referred to the umbilical region right so those are a few things that you should know right so now a little bit more regarding the clinical anatomy since we didn't go into the clinical anatomy of the quadrants i hope you have understood uh, how the clinical anatomy of the nine regions of the abdomen will be relevant if you talk a little bit about the quadrants so 
if the pain is in the left lower quadrant right left lower quadrant uh so you have a few things that could be there and so those differentials have been summarized for you then if you have the pain in a left upper quadrant right it can be a case of intestinal malnutrition right upper quadrant then liver is involved be hepatitis or something related to the gallbladder cholecystitis even kind of the stomach could be towards that side it could be a peptic ulcer then you talk about the right lower quadrant appendicitis appendix prominent thing then right iliac fossa is also there so you can essentially identify the pains using these quadrants the nine regions of the abdomen system is pretty important even from your examination point of view right and you should know about the mid clavicular the subcostal and the transubercular right the main thing which planes where do the planes pass through what are the important things related to those planes what are the planes that demarcate the nine regions what are the names of the nine regions what are the important structures in each of these nine regions and what is the kind of uh, preferred pain what is the clinical anatomy related to these particular nine regions that is what you should be knowing about this i hope you liked this lecture it was a very short and concise presentation of the nine regions of the abdomen you can drop a comment if you did and you can hit the like button do subscribe to the channel let's crack neat pg and i hope you like this premiere video um and you have been enjoying your festive season so my referral code is chatanya10 as i have already told you you will get uh, if you use credits you will get additional discount plus a 10% off with the referral code and cash back from my end if you contact me my instagram channel is at the rate instagram uh, handle is at the rate chatanya.blue and my telegram channel is at the rate eat pg chatanya right so that is where you can contact me do hit the bell icon for for the notifications and uh, do let me know how you like this class uh, and hoping this class is productive for you hoping you will retain what you have learned 